Right, as I said before, um, our son had today off holiday, so he took me to Tesco's, as you've probably seen from a previous video, and then we quickly popped to the charity shop. Um, yeah, I need to actually take some stuff in, um, but we mainly went to Tesco's, as I said, just to get a few pieces. Um, also waiting for Iceland Food Shop to come tomorrow. So I got a few um, little bits, so I've got a small haul here. I only went in Bernardo's, but I went in their drop-off centre and then their shop, as I keep explaining, it's a couple of doors down. So there is um, those two. There is another charity shop further down, but I didn't go due to the fact it was getting really warm. So I thought, you know, get home, get something to eat and, um, you know, just generally get things done. So you're here to see um, my small mini haul from the charity shop, I say it's Bernardo's. The first thing, I didn't think I was actually going to pick anything up um, in the drop-off centre, um, but just on the last sort of part aisle, whether they just put them out, I don't know. You know me, I'm paper racks, and I've got this gorgeous wicker um, paper rack that's what I call it, magazine rack. And it's got this metal going through. Amazing condition. To tell you the truth, it's not um, dusty or dirty or anything like that. Amazing condition. And I paid £2 for this. Now, I've said a number of things. When I buy most things, you know, unless it's an ornament or something, that's different. But things like this, you know, I pick it up and I think, now what, do I really need it? Or sometimes I think, well, I'm looking out for pieces for somebody else. But you know me and storage, organising, everything like that. I do like the um, sort of more rectangle sort of um, paper racks. As you know, I do have one. Um, just beyond the camera actually that's got all my papers in it is a white one because I wanted it to match everything in my cubby but it does go at an angle so um, the, it goes like that so the sheets obviously get narrower as it goes through but it's, it works and it's white and it goes with everything else but these sort of things can have a number of uses um, we don't have newspapers we don't really have magazines. As I said, I've been really good, except um, a while back I did purchase that um, crafting one to do with Frozen 2, but that was the first magazine I've bought in five years. But I like using them because they are narrow. Now, one example, you probably can see it down here. This was actually um, a proper purchase. I didn't or was it? Actually, I think it was a charity shop one. Yeah, it was a charity shop one. Look how narrow that is. And basically, um, it's got two pairs of, sort of clogs in here. You've got the males, which is the large, and you've got mine, which is the small to medium. So, and it just comes because I've only got that little bit. Can you see that? That's all I've got. And that slots in without actually um, getting, um, you know, in... In way of the door so that just goes down there just that little bit of space clogs need to go and get the washing in or put the washing out I've said this about the guys as well you know oh they're not too bad it's not oh do we have to um, because then you know, they've got to go to the to say the shoe rack that's in the front you know near the front door and think hang on a minute Oh, I've got to get my shoes on, tie the laces, blah, 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 blah. You know, it goes here, like mine, hubbies or my son's, you know. Slot those on, not a problem. So I use those um, as a catch-up um, next to the back door. These are also good, as I said, um, for your crafting things, papers, um, as I said, um, your crafting papers and everything make it really nice. Do you know what I mean? Um, you could also put the toilet rolls in there. As I said, I do like to keep um, spare toilet rolls out. Um, so it makes it easier for members of the family. Or when we had visitors, it was easier because they didn't have to necessarily ask for a toilet roll or rummage you know, through um, something to find it. Very easy. Um, it could also be, but you'd have to be careful because obviously catching, 
um, I have used them before when I've had guests and I've rolled up towels in there I've rolled um, say um, a bath sheet um, hand towel flannels and then I've put little toiletries in um, this is going way, quite a way back obviously um, due to the fact that we don't have anybody stay over but when we used to have um, especially holiday time have people stay over this is the sort of thing you know put everything in there and um, sometimes even when I did a magazine or a book because obviously knowing the people that come in I know what they like so you know just those little things like a like a sort of gift for your guests if you know what I mean and it's all corralled and what they used to do not this particular one because I've just bought it but something very similar and um, they could take the whole thing then into the bathroom and they've got everything there you know what I mean so there's a number of um, things you can use this for and I can rabbit it on a long 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 time do you know what I mean thinking all the uses um, and failing that you can also have it up that way and store towels rolled up you can have it in your airing cupboard let's let's finish there else I'll be boring you to tears but what I'm saying is I always look out for paper racks um, not so much the ones well we've had them in the past where they're like the little coffee well this would be good actually because if you haven't got a room little coffee table type thing and then it's got the paper rack underneath you know the wooden type you know they tend to have a lot of those um i don't tend to go for those because they're a bit more bulky and i've got enough tables um i had thought about purchasing one um a while back for our granddaughter you know a little table put everything in i might do that when the desk goes when she's a you know a little bit older or something when i have a sort out at the beginning of the year but i happen to get rid of a desk i might get something like that because it's smaller she can have her um pads um pencils that sort of thing so do keep an eye out and think out the box i've said this a number of times always think out the box because it's surprising what you can come up with and as i said it doesn't take too much space from the drop-off centre, storage again, I actually use these as gifts and it's still got the sticker on. I remember buying something like this, um, not quite, I don't think it was this design thinking about it. I seem to remember this design and I paid like £5 for it from B&M. This was actually um, £1.30, drawers don't fall out, there's the ticket. And I like these things, um, you know, like Mother's Day or any birthday or something, you know, it's storage for them, you know, you can put your craft pieces in here. But this also looks, I've checked all the packaging and boxes, it's not scratch marked or anything. So again, I think it's a, um, a piece that hasn't been used. And I've done this before, I've put like bath bombs in, I've put... Um, you know bath salts and little sachets you know what i mean and um little you know little travel size bubble baths or shower gels or things like that i've even put things like jewelry in and one time i did something like a little tiny pampered session i've put nail stuff in with emery boards and nail varnish and then i've also uh, say at the bottom put some sealed chocolates in it's amazing these sort of things so you can put little treats in you know and it's little surprise little surprises in each of the boxes these are the sort of things that i keep up and if i keep things as i said purchased through the year when i think oh that might look nice in um like a gift basket or a big gift box then i keep those sort of things in so just be aware of these sort of things um, as far as I know, I haven't been in B&M for a while, but um, as I said, I know they were selling these sort of things. So just keep that, um, you know, sort of at the back of your mind, especially if you pick this sort of thing up from B&M. And you can put little treats in, can't you? Right. Um, now we went. I went to the shop, which is a couple of doors down. And um, I will say to my daughter-in-law about this because it is not brand new. But it looks brand new. I am doing this little dinosaur sort of gift package. I may be sharing that in the near future due to the fact, yes, I'm, her birthday's coming up next month. 
then obviously Christmas we have got a few bits for her for Christmas as I have been sort of sharing and I will be possibly um, gift wrapping those up so that we'll be seeing our granddaughter hopefully in the near future we haven't seen her for about three and a half weeks so I know for a lot of people that don't sound a lot but they don't live that far away so um, it is to me and going back to the gifts so we're taking a birthday present wrapped up and a couple of Christmas bits and maybe um, I don't know some chocolate goodies and things just so they're there just in case for any reason we're on full lockdown I know um, I'm trying to be positive here but you don't know we're waiting for the announcement which may have gone up by the time obviously this comes up I don't know um, I think it's more about hosp hospitality suites and things like that cafes um, restaurants bars pubs that sort of thing I'm not sure what's going to be said but I thought there was a rumour of what's going to happen through the winter but let's get off because we're getting off topic here so I got this book and I've already got pencil case, I've got notebook, um, you know, I've got a number of things. Our granddaughter will be three next um, month and this looks brand new. Now, I paid one twenty five for this and the retail price is nine ninety nine. And as I said, I'm making a gift up and it is called Jigsaw Dinosaur by Anne Sharp but i checked in the store even um the cashier said oh this is gorgeous and i said yeah and i'm surprised because it doesn't look as though it has been used and inside it's got all the jigsaw i don't know if you can tell but that's a jigsaw and it's got all about the dinosaurs and everything um i don't know whether they do actually dinosaurs so much in um schools now she's in nursery and they do have different uh, subjects but even sorry for the glare even i remember doing projects on dinosaurs and she just loves them she loves the dinosaur um disney movie as well so that's jigsaw and as i said to tell you the truth you can tell when something's been used and this doesn't even look as though any of the jigsaws are popped out because um, you can usually tell can't you so look at that again this is another jigsaw all on that side is jigsaws all the different dinosaurs like I said yeah I've got the light on on my new stand that's what the circle glare is and I said look at that isn't that gorgeous so as I said it does not look used, but I will say to my granddaughter, um, to my daughter-in-law, look, I know it's not brand new, but it doesn't look as though it's been used. So I'm going to actually give that as a gift in the gift package of dinosaur pieces, if that makes sense. So that's the jigsaws. I will have to actually at some point um, sort out our granddaughter's toys because just outgrown a lot of them like the wooden jigsaws I still got and she's just doing them too quick now so um yeah so that might be a little bit old for her at the moment but I'm sure she's going to enjoy it because she can still do it with her parents now going back um when I was um for my 21st um because I was 21 in the January and we got married um in the um May now we have been married 30 odd years now so for our anniversaries and for my wedding and for my 21st and i may feel it might be a bit um old-fashioned um your bottom drawer um as my mum and grandmother used to purchase little bits and pieces when i was getting married for my bottom drawer if that makes sense to um people i don't know if that's a term you use well, what I'm saying is, if you've seen um, when I did my cabinet a while back, I had all the internal bow. Now, churches, as far as I know, um, it did move. I don't know whether it's closed because it moved away from town centre sort of bit onto a side street. But this is, if anybody recognises it, it is definitely 80s, um, beginning of 90s. Well, we were married in... Um, 88 1988 so that goes back how long and 
the only way I can actually look out for pieces for my internal bone now because obviously people now can't replace them. Well, I don't think they can. I know there's sometimes websites that you can go on, but you might pay quite a bit um, for um, pieces that um, of either, you know, not, non, not um, making them now as such, but it was at its height. And I actually got another gravy boat. Now, mine has actually got the stand. Now, I bought it, I'm thinking, I'm not going to do any entertainment, I don't think, this Christmas, how things are going. But I'm trying to be positive, because it beats, it doesn't hold a lot of gravy. And my family love gravy. And if you, normally when I've got a dinner party, we extend our table, we've got 10 or 12 people. And when it was like me, hubby, or our son who live here, um, we used to use the plastic jug. And sometimes hubby used to put it lovely or I did in this lovely um, jug and then we used to find at the other end of the table a plastic jug I have got a white um, gravy boat but it's just nice to have this and I paid £1.50 for it as I said normally it has the little um, stand as well but that doesn't bother me £1.50 they did have three creamers or um, milk you know the little jugs but I've already got one maybe two of those and to tell you the truth, um, my one does okay on the table if we have drinks at the table after a meal, if you don't understand what I'm saying. I'm doing it on the basis of a dinner party. Um, so the creamer didn't seem that important to me. Um, maybe I'll regret it, I don't know. It, the creamer was about the same price as the gravy boat, but I personally would get more use out of this. I have got the dishes, I've got the plates, saucers, cups, um, glasses. I did have the Sunday um, dishes, which one is actually chipped, and I think I got rid of that. So I've only got four. Some of the bits I've only got four. I've got champagne. I've got an insect here. I have got um, champagne glasses. Um, that was a wedding present, and I had it with a bottle of champagne. Um, but unfortunately we don't drink champagne anymore <laughs> but they're there in case you know you know we have a you know a little tiny dinner party I said or you know there's four of us or whatever um, but as I said I am I've got a question mark on those um, whether to actually get rid of them I did have a set of wine glasses but they're gradually getting chipped it's those sort of things I haven't actually seen so and I did buy extra plates the dinner plates um from a car boot a couple of years ago I think this is before I actually started doing um you know YouTube so yeah so the odd piece I don't tend to buy the cups of sauce anymore because I've, I've got a couple of extras of those but I say things like this definitely um but I yeah, and I've also got the teapot and sugar basin and everything as well. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm rabbiting on. This is going to be a chatty charity shop. It's because I'm now on my own and I thought, well, you know, it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera, I think, to have one of these chatty videos. So there might be quite a few of these coming up. So that is the gravy boat. Right, the next item... Um, it was um, 50 pence, probably will change that, um, but I can do a lot with this. I can add a few flowers, I can um, wrap ribbon round it, I can do a craft project on this. So that's what I'm going to do. You can use um, a pom-pom maker and put pom-poms or anything, but I think I want to do something with this, change that over to possibly black or orange and do something for autumn I don't tend to have a lot of autumn decor or it's pieces that I have out all year round that I can just uh, mix in as I said with my autumn decor that's another video that will be coming up so that is ready for a craft project it's got a couple of loose things but a bit of super glue there will hold that in place but as I said change the ribbon a few little flowers there and hey presto, I've got um, decor, decoration or keep it up for Christmas, but I think I'll do something for autumn. Now the last item came in a bag like this and it was a pound. And it did have instructions. 
and I was a little bit dubious about this because it is a battery operated item but if you keep your receipt Bernard I don't know if other charity shops do this because they do check their items and electrical and battery operated they do check them and they do tend to put batteries in and if um, for any reason it doesn't work within I think 14 days or something you can take it back as long as you've got the receipt well this was okay um, the batteries are all right in this part but I did replace the batteries in this part because although it lit up it was very faint and it is Scooby-Doo funny enough I bought our granddaughter a Scooby-Doo t-shirt so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the, this doesn't actually do anything and I have checked it out and it works for a pound so I'm just put over the switch that's the light there look because that was very faint so I've just changed the um, batteries it took um, for AAA which I always keep a stack of batteries anyway so there we are so there's Scooby-Doo and this is this pit this had this was okay with the batteries I'm just gonna switch it on let's play hide and seek right hurry find a clue like your pal Scooby Dooby Doo you're sizzling hot right has Scooby Dooby Doo <laughs> yeah you found me that's I love you let's play again that's because I had it close what the idea is, I'm going to move it away so it might not go off. Um, it's got a light system here, red, um, sort of yellow and green. Um, green means that it's um, it's a distance away. Yellow, you're close. Red, you found. And what it said here, I'm going to switch that off. As I said, I have had a go with it. It says... Green, the seeker is at a far distance. Yellow, the seeker is getting close, but it has a medium distance. Red, the seeker is very close. And it says, when the red indicator lights up, the seeker knows they are very close. Continue to search for Scooby. And when you find him, pick him up and give him a big hug. And he will say, scooby dooby doo you found me. Let's play again. And all the lights will flash on the headset, which you've just handset, which you've just seen. So, yeah. So for a pound, I think that is really good. So let's try it once more. Let's put this bit on. Let's play hide and seek. Hurry, find a clue. Like your pal, Scooby Dooby Doo. So I was really pleased with that. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. As I said, it has been quite a chatty video, but um, sometimes I said, it, I don't know if you're interested. It's nice to think out the box and think about things um, and what you can do with them. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.